The sequence of a heartbeat is a cycle, so let's start when the blood is in the atria. The atria contract and this pushes the blood into the ventricles. This is called atrial systole. Once the blood is in the ventricles, the ventricles contract. This pushes the blood out of the heart. The contraction of the ventricles is called ventricular systole. After contraction of both the atria and the ventricles, relaxation of the heart occurs and this is known as diastole. Blood is able to flow in and refill the atria. The cycle begins again with atrial systole where the atria contract pushing blood to the ventricles, ventricular systole pushing the blood outside of the heart and diastole where blood is able to refill the atria. During this heart dissection, we can see the valves that exist between the atria and the ventricles, which are responsible for ensuring that the blood flows in one direction only. They are also what you hear closing when you hear the sound lub-dub of the heartbeat. During the cycle of the heartbeat, the valves play an important role, as they prevent the backflow of blood. After atrial systole, both the tricuspid and bicuspid valves close to prevent the backflow of blood back into the atria. After ventricular systole, the semilunar valves close to prevent the backflow of blood back into the ventricles. To recap, first of all the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves close. This is responsible for the sound lub in the heartbeat. Afterwards, you get the semilunar valves closing. This is responsible for the sound dub in the heartbeat. So you naturally hear lub-dub when listening.